focus of my presentation today is the analysis uh, of minimal residual disease in the context of allergenic transplantation in children with lymphoblastic leukemia. The clear finding was that we, according to the level of minimal residual disease, could predict the risk of relapse after transplantation. Uh, by reaching a certain level of minimal residual disease after transplantation, patients will finally uh, develop a frank relapse so that we are now able to offer a milestone for, um, for intervention studies after transplantation. We are deeply honored by being selected uh, for, this, for this prize. It is also an acknowledgement of 20 years of investigating MRD in that uh, field and I hope that it might also uh, be a, um, a light for the juniors that this could be achieved after a lifelong uh, investment. The subject was the development of a new animal model for studying the efficacy and the uh, toxicity of chimeric antigen receptor T cells. These T cells are very effective but also toxic. So we can redirect specificity to a certain extent. So this is precision medicine, but we can also have some toxicity. So we have to find new ways of outsmarting the toxicity and only have the good effects about T cells. We developed a humanized mouse model by which we co-transplant both leukemia and uh, hematopoietic stem cells, so we have normal and malignant hematopoiesis at the same time, so we can study the complex immune interaction of chimeric antigen receptor with the, with the system. I'm very honored to be recognized and also because I was speaking minutes before Rainer Storp, who was one of the founders of our field, so I was very privileged and honored. I first got involved in bone marrow research in 1965 when I joined a very small laboratory in Seattle, Washington, in the United States. Uh, Dr. Thomas's lab. In the first two and a half years, uh, successes were rare. And it was not until 1971 uh, when we sort of began understanding uh, more the uh, uh, tissue matching, uh, how to apply drugs after transplants to control drug resistance disease, that we began to be successful. We were sort of an egalitarian team, uh, there was no hierarchy. Uh, yes, Don Thomas was a professor and we were sort of, Bob Epstein and I were in the laboratory uh, and we just went about it in a very systematic fashion. Um, but the reason I think we were successful is that we were bench researchers who then translated and then back, back to, the, to the laboratory. I, I feel honored of course uh, because uh, I myself originally a European so I have actually still fairly close ties with a lot of uh, investigators here in Europe. And, I think it's an honor to, to be invited to uh, give the opening lecture.